So let's talk a little bit about the history of the margarita. It first appears around 1938. There's a few nice romantic stories about this. Obviously, Margarita is a very pretty name. There was one dancer named Margarita who was apparently allergic to all other spirits apart from tequila. So a kind bartender came up with this drink for her and named it after her. Another version of the story says that it was actually made for Rita Hayworth, whose real name was Margarita. But I think it's probably more likely that the name Margarita comes from the Spanish translation of daisy because a daisy is a class of drink that was really popular around that same time in the 30s and 40s which is basically a base spirit um, sweetened with a liqueur or a cordial uh, with a little bit of citrus in there as well and usually topped up with some soda water so the sort of classic daisy was with whiskey and grenadine it's, it's probably likely that American tourists would go down to Mexico and ask for this and obviously in Mexico they wouldn't have much whiskey but they had plenty of tequila they wouldn't have many lemons but they had citron which is kind of like a cross between a lemon and a lime hence the margarita was born and margarita is just literally Spanish for daisy so yeah definitely a more romantic story to say that it was named after some sultry screen goddess but I think probably more likely that it was a natural evolution of the daisy. So while we're learning a little bit of trivia information for you is that um, the agave plant which tequila is made from is not actually a part of the cacti family which most people think that it is. It is a member of the lily family. Oh and by the way if you're liking what you're seeing then please hit the subscribe button. Actually, before the margarita, there was a tequila cocktail called the Toreador. Probably not pronouncing that correctly, but it was the exact same, but you switch out the curacao for apricot brandy. So it'd be obviously like a little bit sweeter and that more kind of stone fruit rather than citrus, which is a delicious drink. The most famous variation of a margarita is called the Tommy's margarita. Uh, and that is just uh, a margarita where instead of using um, curacao, you use agave which is a syrup made from the same plant as tequila is made from. So obviously really harmonious flavors. And again, a little bit sweeter. It's more kind of similar to a sugar syrup or um, even like a golden syrup, like it's quite viscous. Uh, and that one's generally served on the rocks and sort of with or without a salt rim, depending on your preference. It's not as essential to have the salt rim on the coupe as for your classic margarita. Uh, and you can even, you know, look at doing something like, as we were talking about, the original Daisy, where you would do whiskey and then with a half a part of lemon juice and another half a part again in grenadine. And you can top it up with soda and serve it on the rocks if you prefer something a little bit longer and refreshing. Thanks for watching and stick around for a link to one of our other videos.